this is just a quick video on water potential because um, I don't know if this will help or not but it, it might make things clearer for you, it might not but um, just a, a few things to say on it so uh, water potential which has this um, this funny symbol PSI or Psi to be honest if you wrote that it, it's you know, you'd get away with it on an exam answer it's perfectly acceptable that is the symbol for water potential um, so it's fine um, it's measured in it's in, uh, it measures the pressure which is in pascals and uh, usually this would be in kilopascals or megapascals because pascal is, is quite a small unit I suppose really um, but what water potential is is a measure of how much energy if you like there is in, uh, well, in, in water so if you're familiar with things, uh, familiar with the ideas that molecules, the kind of chemical idea that these things are going to be uh, moving around, Brownian motion, you know, these water molecules have got kinetic energy so they're moving around. We're not talking about that energy, we're going to ignore that, we're going to pretend it doesn't exist. So when we talk about water potential, we talk about it really in, under a set of ideal conditions where it's... Um, you know, a, a set pressure and a set temperature. So we're going to ignore the effects of temperature. And what we would say is that if this is pure water, we would say that it has a, a water potential of zero kilopascals. Okay. Um, now, if we introduce a solute to it, something that will dissolve, what will happen you know, if we, we zoomed in and looked at the molecule? The solute and the, the water molecule will actually form hydrogen bonds. Okay, So these weak bonds that we know about that water can form will form between the, the particles of the, the ions, whatever it is we're dissolving, uh, and the water. Now, bonds hold energy. Okay, So whenever we're making new bonds, some of that energy is being taken out of the water and it, it's stored in those bonds if you like but it's no longer available to use it's been held in those bonds and because of that the amount of energy in here will go down now why aren't we measuring water potential in energy rather we measure it in pressure don't worry about that it, it's pretty much the same thing actually but what will happen when we dissolve things is we will lower the water potential Okay, it will decrease. So adding solutes will make it more negative. You know, let's make it whatever, 100, minus 100, why not? Okay, so by adding that solute, it's always going to go down. And remember that um, in osmosis, water moved from a high water potential to a lower water potential. So the more solute we add, it becomes more negative. It's easy to sort of fall into that little trap, you know, where they give you these questions and they say things like, you know, there's two cells next to each other, um, and this one is at minus 100 kilopascals, and this one is at minus 200 kilopascals, and you know, which way does it go? And you think, oh, high to low, that number's high because it's 200. That was no, because it's negative. Okay it would flow in that direction. In fact, if you're not sure on this, you're not confident, one of the things you could do, the first, as soon as you get into an exam, um, is to do yourself a little number line and just think to yourself, there's nothing, there's minus 10, there's plus 10. And then, you know, you can always think to yourself, well, where's minus 20? It's below. You know, it goes from high to low that way. So it's a very, very easy trap to fall into. Okay, so that's sort of what's happening water potential however there's something else I want to add here which is this is a simplified version of it water potential um, is really a combination of several factors together um, one of which is the effect of adding solute which makes things on more negative uh, but there are a couple of other factors as well for example there's um, the idea of um, adhesion you know when the um, when we talk about xylem and we talk about water molecules sticking to um, the sides of you know, the xylem, well again we're forming bonds, that's what it's doing. Um, so that's going to lower the water potential as well, um, it's something called a matrix effect. Um, now it, you know, it doesn't matter to us but that is in there as, as a, a component of water potential as well, as is what's called pressure potential. 
Um, if we think of this, if we, we take a, a plant cell and we put a, a, a cell wall around it, why not? If we fill the inside of this plant cell, so the cell membrane is right up against the cell wall, and we'd call that turgid, that um, the water in there is pushing actually outwards on on, on the uh, the cell wall, the cellular cell wall, which of course we know is the cell wall is preventing it bursting. But the cell wall is also pushing back, and so the effect of that is it's creating pressure. It's going to force water out. You know, you can imagine getting a really tiny microscopic pin and stabbing it through the cell. You're going to squeeze water out. So what's called the um, the, the, the turgor pressure is trying to push water back out. Now that will be important when we're looking at translocation because if you start, you know, let's say we pump some solutes into here and the water follows in by osmosis, that water, the pressure in there is, is trying to get out. Um, so if we've got another cell next to it with less of that um, pressure in there, well the water is going to go across. It's not the only mechanism but that will help it move across. Of course you know what you could also do is have more solutes in the next cell that would also help but the pressure can push things across as well so when we talk about mass flow the idea of the water moving um, and taking the solutes with it why does the water move well it can move for several reasons but one of them can be the pressure it can also move from the osmotic effects so when we talk about water potential in these general terms there are other effects in here as well that we we tend to just ignore but they're present and I think it maybe explains a little bit about this concept of mass flow and water going across so none of this stuff is really explicitly on your syllabus but I think it might help explain a few bits and if it doesn't well I'm sorry I've just wasted uh, seven minutes of your time but there you go